What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Bowling Green Dynasty Rebuild. Hey, yeah. In today's episode, we have the season kickoff for us here in week two against Florida. Florida did have a game in week one. They won that game. If you want to see that game, it's on the channel. So all you got to do is go back three or four videos or so, and you can see that video. There's also a custom recruit showcase video up on the channel right now from games in week two. So if you want to see that, that's on the channel. But what we are focused on today is the new look BGSU Falcons. We're going to have a new star in QB. We had receivers leave. We had DB leave cornerbacks linebackers this team is going to look different but hopefully we don't play different and also i have things to address about the custom recruits but i'm gonna do that when the time comes when we get to recruiting so if you want to know what's going on with your custom recruits they are on the recruiting board or not on the recruiting board i know i said it just wait till the recruiting part of the episode and we'll get into it but right now i know y'all want to see some gameplay so let's hop into it so we don't have any team stats because we haven't played a game but we do have team ratings and as you can see we are a 99 overall team 99 overall offense 99 overall defense for the florida gators they are a 95 overall team 97 overall offense 93 overall defense so we are just a little bit better than them but florida is still capable of competing and beating us top players for your bgsu falcons got new faces up here we got matt Watkins, the center we got mr rollins the kicker and we got the strong safety tim swiper the fox top players for the florida gators we got a right guard we got the customer recruit falcon jackson and we got a defensive tackle hi everybody reese davis with you bringing you and the we EA got the Sports sophomore NCAA london bridges show yes he is only a sophomore Nissan. innovation but the london excites. bridge may be coming down yes sir and i hope it didn't freeze because that would be bad for me I don't think it froze what but who knows yeah this game is old what I already know it bro yeah you're probably like why are you not playing a new one then you don't have to deal with these type of problems Actually, the new game froze on me too. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the game actually didn't freeze. It just didn't like the intro. Okay. Tackling. Down after a nice run up the middle. Pick it up. Right, picked off. Da. He's taken down at the yes. 34 yard line. He seemed a little no. hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. DA said, I'm still locking it up. And he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. And he's going back to the 37 yard line. And he's hit a yeah, game, but still not enough for the short. Foot. The kicker comes out. He'll try to yeah. three points Let's kick the, the field goal. It's up, and he got it. Wish we could have got a touchdown out of it, though. So we don't have our star defensive end, Matt Smith, anymore. Gets it out quickly. About six yards on that completion. He's in trouble. Yeah. Incomplete. And that wasn't. Ah. See what this backup can do at quarterback. Denied. And he came back. He and he's short. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Okay. Got a Tajay. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. Nice hole there the for C Mac. Tackle at the 44 yard line. All right. 
it, and nobody's blocking. Ah. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Offensive lineman getting beat immediately. And he dropped it. He can't hang on. Great. Was the intended receiver on that pass. He punts this one high in the air. Yeah. made at the 16. The Falcons really came prepared to play defense today and the play. Oh, let's well, figure it so out, far team. In this game. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. Ah. And he's going to be sacked. There you go, well, Max. He isn't one of the best players in the country for nothing, Kirk. He is just relentless in his pursuit of the quarterback. He is certainly a first-class pass rusher. Good D. No balls. No Diddy. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Hey, run around him. Really been stingy by both of these defenses. Backs oh my god, why are they got so fast? At about the 39 yard line. That'll be a seven yard pickup. It's a well designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Ah. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Should be able to get that on the ground. the ball for a nice game. And they get nice yardage on that run. The first down. That'll be the end of the first quarter. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. So Three far, nothing. defense has looked solid. Offense, we're still trying to figure it out. Good and there's Caden Kraft. Quick strike to the receiver. Big opening. You can ring my bell. Touchdown. Ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Ring Another my bell. Play from a young man Is David Bell. He's Ladies and gentlemen, ask for in a receiver. and he is rocking the number five. I feel like that should go to any receiver, number one receiver, I should say. Here's an opening. He makes his way to about okay. the 38. Mr. Tack. He steps out around the 39 yard Come on. Line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. I guess Falcon ain't coming back in the game. He gets it again, and this time he's hit hard in the backfield. There was just no daylight. And who was that? I don't know who that is. Was the reason. Well, All these new players. The receivers in the formation. Makes Actually went with a QB run. That's out of bounds. Gets rid of this one. I'm going to play this safe. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Yeah. He gets it up. And he splits and it. And it's good. Place. Back to a seven point game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive Sent the line. Sent the extra guy, and we couldn't sure block him. Run. Now he tries to buy some time. Got him. Taken down around the 30 Catcher. It's a perfect effort by the receiver to come down with that Trying ball. to live up to that last night. Timing between the quarterback... I don't know what box. that was. He's scrambling, trying to lock got him. Long. He's got a man wide and open. that's catcher Freeman. And he's Touchdown. Down. Down. Touchdown. It's hard to catch a free man. 
excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes making his own brother Brown. Guy who's that wide open. He's tackled around the 43 well, yard line. I guessed on the direction, and I was wrong. the stop around the 48 yard line here's the give good tackle and he's taken Freddy. down at the 49 Did that. Fires quickly and it's picked off London and then turn this one all the way Brad, it's still early in this the game. London Bridge is falling like down, falling down, falling down. Understand trying to get back and fighting There's a gator in the water, so you better not drown. Oh my! He's taken down for a loss. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. <sighs> still batted it down. Get the first down at A-Run. Tackle at the 10. Great job All here right. converting and keeping this defense on the field. And he's Come on. 12-yard line. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Wide open, damn it. Great. Ain't no way. Y'all not covering Desmond Gray. And for Kraft, he rings up his third touchdown pass of the half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that is... They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it there we go. Right down at the 41-yard line. Picked Throws off again. And it's intercepted. And that's Anthony and Hale. At the 48. Florida is really excited to watch this guy grow. When it rains, it pours. His first tackle. And sometimes it hails. Short over the middle. Get there. He's get to Freeman. Around the 38 yard line. Going deep. Down the kick. Get to Freeman. You know that's it's hard to catch a free man. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. I would be surprised oh, if they shit. kept up the pressure to try to and cluster this quarterback him. some more. That boy fresh out the woods. The senior makes the catch. And he's level at the 29. To about the 31. The that timeout? Yes, I'm trying to score. With 27 seconds left. I believe in my team. Tries to get around the corner. And we're gonna get a good return here. We're gonna get a good return! Around the 25 yard line. McDonald's the kind of guy, Kirk, that I'm sure still Almost. wants to get the football. He's looking for six. Oh boy. Touchdown. This is too easy. This is too Andrew easy. Bell. He's got two touchdowns. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. And we got number eight, Tennessee, currently tied with Auburn. All the ingredients look as if they are starting. We also to have a custom recruit, the receiver at Auburn. We've got a tie game here. Work of it. But they need to try something. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. Who is he throwing that to? And that one's incomplete. I don't know, but it's incomplete, and that's all I care about. Bowling Green leads it 38-3. I thought Florida would have gave us more of a challenge. 
Glad to have you but with Falcon us. Falcon got hurt. For the EA Sports NCAA football and I ain't been the same since. Time show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis Our and defense Davis is just here, completely locked in on that first half. It really looks very good so far. Watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive and history of every playbook right now, he's ever had in his entire football career. Caden Kraft. That would be infinitely more interesting. It's looking like one of the better quarterbacks here at BGSU. <laughs> that, definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. It's still it, early. I know. All the time, they start to get out of hand. Still early. You got to empty the bucket. So guys, there's supposed to be back some to type you. of Have graphic some right fun. here, but it's not. Maybe something I don't know. <laughs> These teams are pretty but yeah. boring. Give me something from the I'm satisfied with the file, offense Brad so far. Got to get Caleb going, though. The second half. What, what do you think? He only has like 30 yards on 10 carries. Uh, I don't uh, like that. Quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. All but we'll work it out. <laughs> we'll work it out. Oh, my God. Just no resistance at all. Tries to buy some time. Throw it away. And throws it away. <laughs> and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's a good hold by the okay. defense on third down. <laughs> Booming kick. Calls for the fair catch. He's going to try and scramble. Slides Ooh. down to the ground. He's hit immediately. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Very good tackle in space. Hello, motherfucker. He's on the run. Get him, Kyle. A great defensive end in college years back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap. He ran right when into to take it. A chance on third down. And it seems like they almost say. Going long. Oh, he's come on, Freddy. You got to come across and pick that off, my boy. Is that Matthew Dillard? No, oh, Matthew Dillard is number 82. I see him right there on the end of the line right here. Quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush. Your last name, Lee. You should have jet. <laughs> Tackle made around the 27 yard line. Oh, boy. Right. Quick out to his receiver. What a play. Right in the hole of the zone. Goal. Gets to about the five yard line. Yeah, the touchdown. Caught for the touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they Fred got some is success in And we got Colorado getting the win over Minnesota. Big day with three touchdown catches. Colorado gets it done and wins it by 14. Team lined up and he is set to get this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Across the uh -oh. 30. Across midfield. Turn the burner zone. And now he's got room to Latasha run. Latasha Humphreys. The In the end zone. Touchdown. He got on the number one for a reason. All it takes that was is one play. play. The special teams. And he's in the end zone. Oh, my God. He on X Games mode. I know Quan D is proud right now. No. Hit as he threw and he completes it. They'll bring him down at the 27. Fuck! Damn! Bring him down. Brett. Not only did they give up Woods. a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure Who these guys are on the same page. Who needs backwards when you got Brett Woods? You ain't gonna get it, sir. You're not gonna get it. Yeah. Ah. At the 44, 
Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Bowling Green looking to add to this big lead here. Took too much time. Yep, took too much time. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. They go to the back Come and he's on, hit immediately bro. in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. He's just running free in the backfield. There we go. He's got his halfback. And we caught that block. He's at the four. C Mac again. Caught from behind. Who's that, a linebacker? That makes it first and ten. Why is everybody in Florida so fast? Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Okay. He's taken down around the 21 yard line. Actually, so blocking some wood now. Nice run up the middle. Okay. Nice Almost a touchdown. First and, goal. and that's the end of the third quarter. Complete dominance and this one's all but over. for the, the BGSU Falcons a huge lead. over the Florida Gators. What else can I say? To the left, to the left. Running it, eight speed stretch to the, the left. Seat right now, offensively. The and number Tennessee the gets game upset. A hard fought game. By How Auburn. They stay in the pole? Oh my and God. Auburn, they start the season with a victory. Yeah, lost to the Auburn. Win it by three. Y'all some fries. An and I will beat Fresno and State. Penn State. Their season Virginia, starts Virginia with Tech beat Florida Penn State. State comes away with a three -point but Virginia win. can beat Penn State. Caught and he's brought down quickly. Under pressure. Come on. And he's immediately the back that down. The throw out to the receiver. Ooh. He was that close to making a big play. Out of bounds. Complete and he's out of bounds. Was he not out? That makes it first and ten. ten. I guess he wasn't out. They go with a screen here. Bing bang. Freddy. A cup of about seven that time on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Throw away. He gets rid of this one. He's taken down at about the 15 yard line. Ran into his own damn teammate. Tackle around Here we the go, Brent Woods. I believe I can gotcha. That's Brent Woods again. Get over here. He gets sacked on the play. How does it feel to get sacked by Cox? <laughs> Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. Looks like someone. And there's a false start on the, start on the offense. False start offense. Yay! Yeah. It has the distance. And he he actually run. has enough leg Great for it. In a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Okay. Everything went right there on that long field goal. So like, why do this to yourself? <laughs> why kick an onside kick? And Give us good field position. Like, why do this? You're not going to win. The clippings in this one hurting. He fights forward to about the 40. He laterals, and they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Receivers got the There's first catcher down. There's Freeman again. Now, around the 28-yard line. 
tackle made. Round the just not allowing right. Caleb to get anything today. Toss left side. He fights forward to about the 23. The cavalry's coming. Let's throw it away. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. Already up big, and this could be the lead bigger. Kicks away. Easy field goal. Let my kicker get some rips in. Where are you going? To him before he can get back to the line. Get down, sir. Get away from the pressure. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after Put up shot on the floor. all day. And he's tackled. You know the run ain't going to get it. And they are waving the white oh, flag. Here's the punter. I don't blame him. Oh, excellent punt. Room around the corner. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. Uh oh. To the 10. Down, down. Away for the touchdown. The touchdown. always knew that this kid was going to have a great career. Highly recruited. There's his first touchdown. I'm sure there's going to be many more. Aaron. Slides down. He makes his way to about the 42. Mm. And down he goes at midfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Oh, it's offsides? <laughs> Fuck you! Here to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Throws complete. And this game is over. Florida That's the end of the didn't have game. a chance. Final score on this one, Bowling Green. I mean, they had a chance for like. Or of the first quarter, maybe. But other than that, it was complete dominance from the BGSU Falcons in all three phases. Well, yeah, all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. Caden Kraft looked like the guy. He looked like the starting QB. He looked like... He looked like a guy. The guy. Latage coming in, making plays as a freshman. Returning a kick and a punt for a touchdown in his first game. Catcher Freeman picking up where Ronald Freeman left off. And like I was saying earlier about Caden Kraft, look at his stats, man. 12 of 18, 272 yards passing, five TDs, zero interceptions, completed 66% of his passes, and he was only sacked twice. Not bad for a balanced quarterback. Seaback did end up running the ball 20 times, but only for 59 yards. They were not going for the run today. I don't know if Florida's run defense was just that good, or is our run offense not as good as it was last year? I don't know. It's just one game. Maybe it was just a bad matchup as far as running the ball. On the receiving side, Catcher Freeman led the way with five receptions, 145 yards, two TDs. David Bell also had 60 yards on two receptions and two TDs. I thought it was going to be David Bell as the one who would step up and be that guy, but I guess not. It might be Catcher Freeman. On the defensive side, London Bridges led the way with seven solo tackles, one assisted, a TFL, and an interception. Also had two pass defense reflections to go along with that. Max Rams had seven solo tackles, one TFL and a sack. Shout out to you, Max Rams. Tim Fox had six solo tackles. Brett Woods also had six solo tackles, five TFLs and five sacks. So he finally started to come along there, trying to fill in this spot that Matt Smith had last year. Anthony Hill had an interception. Derek Austin also had an interception. Trey Cox 
had two TFLs and a sack, and Kyle also had a sack. And Latajay Humphreys had one kick return for 100 yards and a TD, and he also had a punt return for a TD, 138 yards total on five punt returns. And for the games around the country, we got Arizona State getting a victory over FCS team. Appalachia State takes down West Virginia. Number 14, Nebraska gets an easy win over FCS team. Coastal gets an easy win over FCS team. James Madison also gets a win over FCS team. And Oklahoma State gets a close. And Oklahoma State gets a close win over Middle Tennessee State. This game was close just a little bit, maybe, in the first quarter, somewhat. I mean, it was 3-0 to zero at the end of it. But in the second quarter, we find our groove and the game was pretty much over after that florida could never recover falcon got hurt just a whole bunch of bad things started happening for florida and they lose 62 to 13. they did get more first downs than us they did have more rushing yards than us even though they only had 70 but we got the victory as far as passing we didn't turn the ball over and we also won the time of position the offensive player of the game goes to kaden and the defensive player of the game goes to brett woods who needs back woods when you got Brett Woods. Okay, so for the recruiting board, I have some bad news. When I was entering the custom recruits into the game via Create a Prospect, I had a power outage in the middle of creating these recruits. Now, when the power went out, I knew exactly who I was creating at that moment, but I didn't know if the game saved or not, and I didn't want to create a whole bunch of duplicates of custom recruits and have them in game. I just figured that the game auto saved after the last recruit I made and the one that I was working on, I needed to redo him. No, that wasn't the case. So there were six recruits that did not make it into the game because the game did not save. I had no way of knowing whether or not it saved because they don't show you the recruits you created until you get into the preseason. So for the guys that made Travis, Woodward, Cam Pollard, Terrell Madden, Contavious St. Juice, LaKendra Miller, and Andrew Ferdinander. But Andrew Ferdinander is actually in game. He is on the Army roster. The number one MAGA general said he wanted him to go to Army, so I took it upon myself and added him to the roster. That way we can clear that up. But for the other recruits that I just mentioned, they did not make it into game, unfortunately. I apologize. I couldn't do that. I, I really just couldn't do nothing about the power going out. I didn't just, you know, decide, hey, let's have a power outage and bam, delete custom recruits. But it is what it is. If you want me to add them in the next recruiting cycle, I can do that. If you want me to put them on a team, I can do that. I'm not just going to add them to the BGSU roster because I feel like that would be giving me an unfair advantage. And some people would argue that I already have an advantage with my team being a 99 overall. So that's the story. That's what happened. Let's move on. Will Griggs, we're leading on his board i don't really see any competition there flock williams we are in second let's put some points on him i actually might do all uh, this point moving off screen so we're just gonna go on down and, and see everybody xavier massey we're leaning on him riley wade we're leaning on him this guy we didn't have a chance of getting i had three i think i had 300 points on all the custom recruits just spread it the points out evenly and as you can see we were still down a thousand points and now we're down 1160. Laurel damian jr we're losing on him i might add some points back on to him but i just don't see us getting him caleb gronkowski we're gaining on him we're in third that's nice the coldest lewis we're losing on him surprisingly but we still might be able to pull it out richard buckus we're losing on him but we still have a chance khalil johnson we're losing on him but we still have a chance bill griggs we don't have a chance we don't even yeah we aren't even close like tennessee and texas a m they both have visits already and we're nowhere near that but the rest of these guys are not custom recruits we're just trying to fill out the roster with the rest of these guys that's it i got some more recruiting that i need to do off screen not gonna do it here but we did get somebody to commit to the team immediately and that's jeremy johnson we needed another middle linebacker to fill in the spot behind max rams and we got him so for the first 
top 25 poll here, we are number one. Oklahoma is number two. Alabama is number three. Michigan is number four. USC is number five. Texas is number six. Texas A&M is number seven. Clemson sitting at eight. North Carolina at nine. Ohio State sitting at number 10. You actually seen that game. If you want to see that game, make sure you go back to the Custom Recruit Showcase and you'll see that. Also, you'll see the Texas A&M game as well. Let's keep on going down here. Also, we watched the Oregon and Pitt game. It's also in the Custom Recruit Showcase. Tennessee took an L and they dropped from 8 down to 16. Auburn is a new team in the top 25. Georgia sent a number 20. Georgia Tech is a new team in. Notre Dame took the L. They dropped from 18 down to 23. Ole Miss is sitting at 24. And Rutgers is sitting at number 25. And of course, we haven't played a conference game, but Ohio State has, and they are undefeated, of course. Nebraska is sitting on top of the Big Ten West even though they haven't played a game in conference. The only team on this side that played a game in conference is Notre Dame and they lost, so it makes sense. For the Heisman watch, Caleb is leading right now. That performance he just had is not good. He could be falling next week, but as of right now, he's still leading. Elliot Smith is coming in at second. Matt Hoffman at third. Victor Powell at fourth. And Chad Watkinson at the fifth spot. And Brett Woods was the NCAA Defensive Player of the Week. Shout out to you, my boy. And the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week goes to Caleb Huffman, a custom recruit. Shout out to you, my boy. And if you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how it go on this show. It's the outro. Holy shit! We kicked off the season the right way in dominant fashion against a Florida team that's good. They're not title contenders just yet, but... They're good, and we beat them by almost 50. Next week, or in the next episode, we got Nebraska on the schedule. We have to go to Nebraska. That will be a Big Ten matchup, and we definitely don't want to lose that game. They're ranked number 13. I don't know how good they are, but we're going to find out. I feel like my team performed very well in week two or the first game. Hopefully, we can continue the success for the remainder of the season. And if you want to see us continue that success, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy let me know how you feel about the bgsu falcons here in season 10 do you want it to continue after season 10 let me know in the comments but if you're doing all those great things to help out the channel you can't get on the shout out list and speaking of the shout out list i got it right here shout out to michelle jackson product visuals eric rams matt aarons warmaster 777 thomas bays dare dearney patterson jack at youtube arsenio patillo andrew minton aaron meyer roscoe underscore 34 crafty eagle craft little her guy cameron hewlett Quan D, Matthew Dillard, Dirty Creek Sports, Leland Clark, The Rock and Roll Millennial, Tate Burns, Ethan Marlowe, Aaron Kaufman, The Number One Mega General, Sean Griggs, HB, FLG Blanco, Wheelchair Man 2, MVP, Gandy Man, Sean Malden, and LaRon Danny. Like I said in every episode, I appreciate all you guys and gals for doing the things that you do helping this channel get to where it is, because without you, I wouldn't be on the road to 2K, and I'm getting very close. I think we're like nine subscribers away from 2K. Hopefully, we can get there in the next week or so, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully, don't feel no pressure to hit that subscribe button, you know. Nobody's forcing you to hit that subscribe button. But if you don't, some things might happen. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I ain't gonna hold y'all over too much longer. I am your HC. This is BG Season 10. And we're in the Big Ten. Can we call it the Big Ten? I don't know. Kind of has a ring to it. But until next time, I'm out.